Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and this is my new channel here on YouTube, and to start off this video, I'm just going to announce that I am pregnant, so if you want to, keep on watching. So to start off this video, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 20 years old, I live in Canada, and my boyfriend is 24 years old, and we are together, and this week I am 15 weeks and 3 days. So that means I am in my second trimester and it's been going great so far. Um, my first trimester was horrible. I was sick a lot. Uh, foods were really gross to me. Um, I was really tired a lot too, so I would nap a lot. Um, so now we're just going to talk about my second trimester and how it's been going so far. So now that I'm in my second trimester, I haven't really had any more morning sickness, which is a good thing because it wasn't fun. Um, I'm not tired. I have a lot of energy now, which is great because I didn't really like sleeping through the day because it wasn't fun. I want to be able to do things, so now I have all the energy and I don't know what to do with it. But I'm trying to get as much stuff done as I can while I still feel like it. Another symptom now that I'm in my second trimester, it happened in my first, but now that I'm farther along, I have to pee all the time. I'll wake up in the middle of the night too to pee and it's annoying but what do you do you have to deal with it I guess so for 15 weeks I'm just gonna read what it says on my what to expect app and it says babies prepping for life outside the womb one way to deal with the havoc of pregnancy hormones focus on how much is happening with your baby she's about the size of an orange this week her ears have migrated to the sides of her head and her eyes are moving to the front of her face plus your little smarty pants can now wiggle her fingers and toes and make breathing movements and preparation for life outside the womb. Pregnancy hormones are pretty rough on your body, especially the teeth and gums, causing inflammation and making them more susceptible to plague and bacteria. Your, form, your formerly healthy gums may have become super sensitive and prone to bleeding. In addition, you might be coping with chronic stuffy nose or even nosebleeds during pregnancy. Also brought on by progesterone, surging through your system, fear not, it'll all pass. So I haven't had um, any nosebleeds or nothing, so that's good, but um, I have had like a stuffy nose and I feel like I'm catching a cold, but I think it just has to do with the pregnancy. So I'm taking another video because I forgot to mention some things. Um, so I have seen the doctor and everything and my pregnancy hormone levels were good when we first found out. Um, and just last week... We heard the heartbeat and it was 148 beats per minute and I will insert the video right now. So that was our baby's heartbeat and it was really exciting to hear that because we were kind of worried that we wouldn't hear nothing and we've been waiting for so long to hear it. Um, because there was a time where I did end up going to the hospital because I was at work and I almost passed out. I don't know what happened because I was fine and then I got right hot. So I went in the cooler for a minute to try and cool down. But then I started feeling right weird and so I tried to go sit down but then I couldn't really see. I lost my sight and, um... Things were like blurry and I could barely walk so I went up to the hospital and everything was fine. They said they said it was normal and that my blood sugars and my blood pressure was low but everything is fine now. It hasn't happened since um, but we did try to listen to the heartbeat when we were there and they wouldn't let me because I think I was 11 weeks then and they said it was too early but at my family doctor we did get to hear the heartbeat so it was exciting finally hear that and um, my first ultrasound is on September 29th so this month and we couldn't be more excited we will hopefully find out the gender of the baby that same day too because I will be 19 weeks then so I don't really have anything else to talk about this week because there hasn't really been much going on but I'm just gonna end this video by showing you guys my belly so here is my belly with a shirt on it's a loose fitting shirt so it's not really that tight on me but I do have a little belly it's not that big yet but I'm sure it will get there eventually 
in the next couple of weeks. But this is it with the shirt on. And here's my belly with the shirt up. And you can kind of see a little belly. Some days it feels bigger than most, but this is it today at 15 weeks.